Hello, it's Mark. It's Lewis again. <laughs> Hello, I'm not Lewis. This is Stuart, my co-host, as usual. Hello. Chilling out on the couch. Woo! Woo! In my new house. Um, yeah, that's why it's taken so long. Yeah, sorry, I've moved house and I, I no longer live in a damp, infested shithole. So to our one listener. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Um, well, we've got a few things to talk about. A um, few trailers, Rogue One trailer, new Star Wars. Yes, I have seen it. I vaguely remember it as well, which is interesting. Had a bit of a nerdgasm at the end when there's walkers <sighs> on the beach. And Darth Vader's meant to be in it, but he's obviously not in a teaser. Yeah. He's meant to be badass in this, like Empire killing everyone that moves. But like that Vader, not the, oh, that's good in me, Vader. <laughs> so that's bull- bullshit. All right, Lewis, calm down. <laughs> It looks good though. It looks really good. It's obviously, we see the Death Star. It's all very much nostalgia based. Yeah. And it's about literally the opening crawl of Episode Four. So I can't, I can't wait. Star Wars every year now. Come on. It's all right. Star Wars is okay. <laughs> Although Force Awakens was good, but we'll come back to that later. Over two billion in the bank for that one. So I think they're doing all right. Yeah, but you know, people are sheep. They go and watch these things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Marvel put out Doctor Strange trailer, which is out at the end of the year, November or something ridiculous. This fall, according to the, the trailer. I may have just watched because I haven't got around to watching it until just now. Absolutely gives absolutely nothing away, so we can't no. really talk about it, except it looks intriguing, Inception-style yeah. sort of thing. And obviously Benedict Cumberbatch is in it. so uh, And everyone loves a bit of Benedict. <laughs> He's filming Sherlock at the moment, actually. Is he? Another series. Maybe it might be ending very soon, apparently. Oh. Is this why there's no Doctor Who? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, which is annoying. I'm still annoyed at that, but we'll move on. We'll move on. Um, Supergirl Flash crossover. Do you know, I have to say, I didn't know what to expect at all. And it was really good. Really, really well done. Because um, I didn't watch The Flash until after Supergirl, which was the wrong way around. Cause they aired it the wrong way around anyway. So. Oh, did they? Well, I watched it the wrong way around because it should have been him first because he was trying out the tachyon thing from Dr. Wells and that's how yeah. we got into the universe of her. Um, and I think it was brilliant. I think it was played so well. Um, the little frisson between James Olsen and, and Barry really worked. Him getting all jealous. <laughs> for another universe. Yeah. Um, it, it was brilliant. I, I have to say another good thing. I loved the music. It's not something you normally think about, but I like Blake Neely who does all the music for yeah, these shows. Yeah, good, yeah. Um, really merged the two together yeah. in a really good way. That hasn't does sort of happen with Arrow, but I don't watch that very much at all, so I don't know the music. He is, he well. is very good. When they they did an episode of Legends uh, of Tomorrow, where they're in the future as a possible future, where Oliver's older, he's got a beard, he's got one arm, yeah, and it <coughs> it really felt like Arrow from season one, um, and the music came in for Arrow, yeah, and he's really good at doing that and just putting yeah. it in where it needs. So in this one, also the Flash music came in when he yeah. made a save or whatever. I just found their interactions brilliant. I thought they were really the, funny. The whole it, it was kind a, of adorable in a way. It was a good. Ep- it was a fun episode. It was something that you really enjoyed watching, um, even if you didn't really know the Flash very well. If you hadn't watched it, which is highly unlikely, it it kind of just went, oh hi, I'm from another universe. Oh, yeah. I sold some stuff. Yeah, and they did. And like, then do you not? Do you not have a Green Arrow here or a Flash? No, <laughs> like, no. I don't know what you're talking Ooh, about. That's how they get away with it. The first bit was quite good. She's like uh, Supergirl. You're a what now? <laughs> It was just brilliant. The ice cream bit was one of the best things I've ever seen. When they were in the office and introducing yeah. them to James, and he just goes off against that ice cream. And goes yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't say no if somebody turned up magically with ice cream. It just showed off. Um, it we just needed that at that moment. Yeah, we needed something that was a bit more fun and because, a bit, a bit because of obviously the zoom and the nom in Supergirl, the myriad yeah. thing. It was all going a bit. Yeah, it, it, and it was just a bit of fun before the end. It's a bit like um, moving slightly on uh, Legends of Tomorrow, with the 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 Western one. I believe that was the latest one. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Have it's Jonah, Jonah Hex, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. Oh, I can't tell you then because I'll ruin it for you. Yeah. I won't. Well, I won't ruin it for you. But my my biggest problem with Legends of Tomorrow is that it's been very very serious. It takes itself very seriously. And if it says timeline once more, I think I'm actually going to implode. They even made Brandon Routh, like, less quippy. Because he was the... 
he's obviously Superman. <coughs> yeah. And they picked him to be Superman for a reason. Just sorry, his... Um, he's just choking there, sorry. His way of thinking is he's kind of the naive one of the group. Yeah. Even though he's been through some shit, he's still the naive one and he looks he looks through those eyes. So he's always the funny one. Yeah. And he always makes jokes and that. But he's not... He's just kind of depressed now. Even though he's with someone he loves, it, I don't know. It's just... You're right, it is a bit... Captain it, Cole's still quite funny. Yeah, I mean, it. It it's just been taking itself really, really seriously. And the, the episode set in Sanctuary doesn't do it so much. And I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed even though there's other stuff going on in it, I really enjoyed it from start to finish because it had a bit of fun with it. And it did what time travel TV should do and be a bit of fun. Doctor Who does it very well. All right, it's a bit serious now and again, but most of the time it takes the piss out of itself, you know, and it's not 100% serious. And it finally did it. And I thought, yay, they've done it. So you need to watch it because it is quite good. Yeah, yeah, I will watch it. I, I do like Legends. Um, the Zoom storyline on Flash. Are we, liking, are we liking that and the whole reveal? Well, I didn't, I didn't get it until obviously he takes his mask off. Um, but when he grabs Jay, that bit was good. When they closed the rift or the yeah. breach, and he grabs Jay and pulls him, they were like, no. Yeah. But which Jay's which? Well, the Jay that we know, I in my theory, is that he is Jay. Yeah. He is the good Jay, although he's lost his powers, so something's happened there. Yeah. But he's clearly dead. And the way he drops him on the floor, takes the, mm. the cowl off and just goes, well, this is complicated. <laughs> so I, think, I think there's another one in the cage, isn't there? Yeah, the we don't can't talk because we don't know who that is. But I think it's another J. Yeah, it's got to be from another universe. Although uh, Zoom isn't actually J, is he's um, Zolomon Dudar? Is he Zolomon? I can't remember his bloody name. Said no but he's he's in another. He's from another universe, basically. But when yeah. um, J went to try and find his counterpart J on Earth One, they yeah. went and saw it in the park. That's yeah. him, Hunter Zolomon. That's it. He's a serial killer. He's mental, but he's also Zoom. That's who he is, Hunter Zolomon. He's not Jay. Uh, Just they look alike because they're double grinders. All oh, right, okay, fair enough. Thanks for ruining it for me. Well, it was obvious. It's obvious. It's obvious. It's obvious. Hey, the man in the iron mask. That is going to be a, a. The guy who plays Jay said it's a satisfying reveal. That's what he said, and it'll be towards the finale. Cool. Which is quite close. I hope it's someone nice for Caitlin's benefit because she could do with a break. Fucking hell! Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> well, though, to be fair, her Jay's dead, so. I think she just stopped seeing people because they seem to die. <laughs> yeah, she's cursed. Or she'll turn into some kind of snowy creature like uh, Earth 2. Oh, yes, that would be amazing. Because <laughs> I kind of want Cisco to go more into that because his counterpart yeah. was very cool. Well, not cool. Evil, nasty and mean and cruel. Yeah, but cool. All the same time. <laughs> now, I don't, I've got a feeling that they might be making Wally uh, fast. Maybe lack of a better word. Well, you, you said ages ago that he was going to be in it, Wally West. You know, well, that's Kid Flash and yeah. what are they going to do? Well, He's talking about speed, though, doesn't he? Yes, well, of course. Of course, they have to run with down your throat. Because yeah. if you don't know who he is, sets it up, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how they're going to get him to be in touch with the Speed Force. I don't know how it's going to happen. With an engine, because he goes on about engines a lot, doesn't he? Yes, hey, does, I made an yes. engine today. My tutor said Maybe he does amazing. it next to the Flash, and, you know, yeah. <laughs> these things happen in these shows. Some shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> they could <laughs> do with a handy meta-human detector, couldn't they, really? Like, oh, they've got one. Oh, yes. Just in case. <laughs> right, it's been a while now, but obviously we we saw Deadpool. Do you watch Deadpool? I have seen Deadpool, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was hilariously funny. It's brilliant. Utterly, utterly brilliant. I giggled all the way through. I went to a cinema full of people and it was everyone was laughing. So it was a really yeah. good atmosphere and it was the right thing. Like it's good to watch comedy with people, I think. Yeah, definitely. Because you can comedy's contagious, isn't it? But um <sighs> funnier than most comedies that are out. I, I sat and watched it at home on the sofa with my other half who was sat playing on his tablet at the time and uh, I giggled my head off and he just went, uh. And they brought Salt and Pepper back for the soundtrack? Come on. What a tune. It's um I found all of it was really clever as well. The, like the opening credits, oh, they didn't give like brilliant. the actors' names and stuff. I think, what did they say? Um, for Ryan Reynolds was God's own idiot. Yeah. But it's like, what the? F- 
and then the writers are the real heroes of this movie. Yeah. Things like that. I thought, yeah. Oh, that is so clever. And then there was like a picture of Green Lantern. Yeah, which I thought was very, very naughty. Naughty, yes. Um, and just talking to the audience is like, you don't... Yeah. I mean, we've seen things, people break the fourth wall before, like Ferris Bueller does it, which is a little nice post credit sting on Deadpool is a rip-off of Ferris Bueller, where he comes in and is like, are you still here? <laughs> Come on, go, it's over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I tell you, Cable's in the sequel. That, like, that was brilliant. But in this, they directly take the piss out of their own studio that are making the film. Mm. Yeah. And that's really, really good. Like, right, because they've only got two X-Men. <laughs> and one of them we've never met before. And obviously yeah. he goes to the mansion and he goes, this is a big house and I only ever see two of you. It's like the studio can afford any more. <laughs> Apparently that was ad-libbed yeah. um, by Ryan Reynolds, which that, is genius. It's such a genius line. And it's just a throwaway line as well, but it yeah. makes everyone cry, and especially if you know like the ins and outs of yeah. it. And on the bridge when they're fighting, he goes, um, Colossus is like, right, I'm going to take you to Professor X now. And he's like, well, which one? McAvoy or Stuart? These timelines <laughs> get so confusing. <laughs> it's, it, it, I, do you know, I, I don't know much about Deadpool. Obviously. I know a little bit about him, but um, I just think it was a brilliant film. And if you've never seen, if you know nothing about it at all, just go and watch it if you haven't seen it yet. It's phenomenal. It was funny. made on such a shoestring budget as well because they just were like, they had no faith in it whatsoever. And it's happened to be, this made so much money. Yeah. They have to do a sequel. Well, you, you, I be, they have, haven't they? They've announced one. Yeah, yeah, which hopefully they'll get a good cable because he's yeah. a fucking awesome character. I really wanted them to have Wolverine in it because without Wolverine, like Hugh Jackman was a big part of getting it made, apparently, behind the scenes. Yeah. And they obviously had the jokes towards Wolverine and him with a mask at the end, like over his face of Hugh Jackman. So good. Um, so I, I kind of wanted him to be in it, but then... It's kind of nice to have Deadpool do it on his own. You don't need yeah. someone like Hugh Jackman to do it. Yeah, Colossus was interesting. Yeah, I really liked him. Proper Russian, and yeah. he was very funny as well. Slightly different to how he was in the X Men films. Some small American jerk. Yeah. Nine big Russian. Hello. <laughs> He's very, very good. I like Neg- uh, Negasonic. What's her name? Negasonic. I have no idea who she. Even I watched the whole film. I have no idea who she is. I couldn't tell you. I know nothing about her at all. I can't remember. I really liked it though. She very, very well good. done. Yeah, right, perfect. just finish your tweet. Yeah. <laughs> perfect moody teenage girl. And then when he, uh, she's about to, is it Angel Dust is going to jump off the thing and she just goes, oh, look, superhero landing. I don't know why they do this. It hurts the knees. <laughs> He's always talking to the camera. He's always got one eye on the camera. I think that's so, it's so genius. Everything yeah. about it was so clever. And uh, Colossus is talking to the audience and Colossus is like, who are you talking? What, what, you know I can hear you. And he's like, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. And obviously everyone else is like, what the fuck is he on about? <laughs> yeah, I really, really like that film. I can't wait for a sequel. It was good. Um, I mean, all I really knew about Deadpool was it was a bit violent, not for kids. And that he talked to people directly out of the page of the comic book. Yeah. And I I, I think they did it very well. If, it, if you said it was done on a shoestring budget, you couldn't tell. I know. It, it looked genius. It was like 60 million, I think I had. Really? Yeah, and they managed God. to get they they shaved off like six or seven million at the last minute, the very last minute they cut off the, a little bit of the budget. And you you would never have told in a million years. It was slick as. And they said um, the makers have said they don't want any more money now because they know how to do it now. Yeah. So there's no need to have a shitload of money to make the sequel, fair which enough. is fair. Yeah, it's no point in wasting money, is there? <laughs> I'll have it if they don't want it. <laughs> the six seven million going to fair. Hello, give it to me. Stu at SoSpoxDead.com. Oh, it was a bit okay. fucking horrible when he cut his own hand off and then when it started back and she, oh. he told the old woman to leave because it feels bigger in the hand. It, it, it's Michelle Nichols, isn't it? Uh, who? What? Yeah. 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 She was fucking brilliant. Absolutely. Well, uh, Her banter it, with him. It said in the ca- uh, 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 an unashamed cameo or something. Yeah, yeah. I assume that's referring to her. She was absolutely fucking brilliant. Yeah, she Absolutely was. Absolutely fucking phenomenal. I love her anyway. Apparently they got her to say anything. Probably. Apparently there's loads of outtakes where they just pushed her and pushed her and she would say <laughs> anything. <laughs> bloody brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. And and that was another thing that made that film for me because I love her. Where the fuck is Francis? <laughs> <laughs> is Francis your real name? <laughs> oh, brilliant film. Brilliant film. <sighs> Let's uh, move on to something that's not quite as fun. Oh. Batman vs Superman. Bit dark. 
and it's been a f- huge bone of contention with fans that it's not light and fluffy but do we have to have something like Marvel? Does Marvel have to be the template for a comic book movie? I don't think it does my opinion. I, I have to admit I, I went to the cinema, I actually went to the cinema for this, went to the <laughs> cinema saw it in 3D and I walked in going, I'm going to hate this I'm going to hate this because Man of Steel is not my favourite film and I really enjoyed it Really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. It uh, my only caught my attention. My only thing I don't like about it is that it wasn't long enough. I know that's silly because it's two and a half hours. So I'm kind of looking forward to the extended cut. <coughs> that's going to come out on Blu-ray because I felt so many plot points to get into smash into this one film. It didn't not everything yeah. had time like room to breathe, and I think it needed that. Yeah. Because obviously they didn't take the slow approach that Marvel did. They were like, "Fuck, we need to." Catch up, so just shove all in yeah. one movie. Let's oh, have them all in here. Oh, look, it's Wonder Woman. The only thing I didn't like was the fact there wasn't enough Wonder Woman, all that, and I didn't like the fact that they just shoved the Justice League on a computer. Yeah, because it's just a little bit ham fisted, and yeah, the only th- and I love it because I love all this shit from the animated series and yeah, things like that. Yeah. So I know who Darkseid is, I know the Omega symbol, I know yeah. all this stuff. But people who have no idea about this stuff must be going, what the fuck is going I, on? I have, I have to admit, when he was having that sort of dream sequence, yeah. I was going, what the fuck is all this? What? And then the Flash comes in and tells him, talks yeah. to him, and like uh, some people must be looking at it going, what? who the fuck is that? Because <laughs> like, obviously to the wide audience doesn't know all this stuff. Yeah. But for me, I'm like sitting there going, that's the Flash. He's telling him what yeah. to do. This is yeah. fucking amazing. <laughs> of course, he's not the Flash because he's not Grant Gustin, but that's another story. Oh, yeah. Different, different one. Never mind. Um, although I did really like the dream sequence because it, it, they could have their cake and eat it too. They could have the evil Superman that comes in and goes, yeah. "She was my world. You took her from me," and then like fucked him up. And that, yeah. that, that to me is brilliant because Superman's my favorite character because of his sensibilities and that he's, the, he's so like, I can't think of the word for it. He's good and he? he's a good, yeah, he's, he's a good he person. Is, he is the personification of of truth justice in the American way isn't it yeah it yeah is, exactly yeah um he only had a few saves in this film which was really annoying but I do like the fact that they can have this possible future where he's a fucking arsehole mm. because he isn't if if anything did happen to Lois he would be an angry god yeah. that is exactly what he would be yeah. if someone killed Lois his only real link to the human race in his day to day life yeah yeah it's nice that they had that little moment where it goes Flash comes in and goes Lois is the key don't basically don't let anything happen to her. Yeah. Otherwise, this will happen. Yeah, because I mean, you see bad Superman in other things. If there's uh, director video animated universe stuff that you know you got uh, Uberman or whatever his name is, can't remember. Ultraman. Ultraman. Thank you. Uberman. Uh, Uberman. Well, it has a year on it, didn't it? Shut up, I'm old. And um, you know, he's a nasty piece of work for a kid's uh, supposed to be a kid's thing. He's a nasty bastard. He lobotomizes people and oh, yeah, kills yeah. people and uh, yeah, okay in Smallville they did Earth 2 and Ultraman was in it because he was caught he, instead of being found by the Kents he was found by Lex Luthor's dad yeah. and raised and he kills Lex at some point and he f- he's just and he, Tom Welling I'm a bit biased because I really love Smallville but by the time <coughs> he came into it it was season 10 so he'd had 10 years and yeah. he's so good at playing that dual role of being the Clark that we know, and yeah. then Ultraman, who's a fucking dick. He just kills people, the water rises to people. Yeah. Doesn't care. He's such a good character. Mm. Although, um, I obviously prefer Superman as he is, but having that possibility that that's there is really cool. Shows there's a dark side in everyone, though, isn't Yes, there is. Um, the, only, the other thing was that he wasn't very Superman-ish. That's what everyone's moaning about. But if the government is telling you that you're not good enough and that you're not needed... I'm sure that would fuck with your head. Yeah. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? Maybe I shouldn't be here. So he goes off and finds Kevin Costner. Nice little cameo there. In it. I like that Kevin Costner is Jonathan. So when I saw him, I was like, oh, I like this. It's good. I, I didn't. That was one of the things that I really hated about the film. No, son, you've got superpowers. I'm just going to stand in the way of a fucking thing. Oh the fucking God. thing. Um, just have a heart attack like he did in the original film. I wish there was... It was more Superman y. I kind of. That. Spoiler alert, the ending. Just before he kills himself. The. Um, <coughs> honestly, I thought they were going to do the proper Doomsday storyline when he, they fly up into the atmosphere 
and uh, I thought he was going to slam down and die, but he didn't have yeah. the little scene with Lois because in the comic and the animated movie they did, yeah. he says goodbye to her, goes up, slams down, dies. Well, dies, coma, whatever. Yeah. Um. So I thought that was going to happen, but then they they did the Dark Knight Returns fucking story where the nuclear bomb fucking shrinks him down. Like I've never thought I'd see Superman like skinny on a movie. Because it's quite risky to do that sort of thing. Yeah, he's ripped from like visually, he's like side is amazing, and he literally, he, some of the panels are in the film, and obviously he comes floats around, and then the sun brings yeah. him back up again. But the bit where he realizes I'm going to have to kill myself to do this with a spear, and he goes, he says to Lois, "You're my world. This is my world," and she obviously knows what he's going to do. That moment. Is that's when he becomes Superman, like that we yeah. know. Yeah. So when he eventually comes back for Justice League at some point, because you can hear his heartbeat in the fucking is coffin. Not, is he not dead? And the fucking bit where the fucking soil came up as well. I mean. Yeah, that's a little bit. Uh, okay. On the fucking nose, Jesus. At least with a comic, he was literally gone. He, yeah. And it, they put him up in a fortress in the sun. Yeah. For months and months and months, he's dead, isn't he? And no one knows. And that he's that just in a coma, and then he's got. A, he comes out with a beard and long hair. Yeah. But I don't really know how he's gonna regenerate in a coffin. Where's the sun? <laughs> I suppose it just takes longer. I don't know. In in the animated version of Doomsday, doesn't one of his robots from the Fortress of Solitude re- tunnel underneath Metropolis and steal the body? Ah. Yeah, but he's already awake. It, he's already alive because yeah. that bit where he's yeah. with the soil. Obviously, he's not going to fucking burst out straight away, but that shows he's still alive. I have to admit, I was expecting <laughs> a hand to pop up through the coffin. So was I. I'm actually doing the physical hand going up there because oh you yeah. can see that. <laughs> I, I uh, thought that was going to happen. Yeah, a little bit zombie style <laughs> I really like the opening sequence. Uh, it just covers Man of Steel again, but from ground level. It's fucking terrifying. It's almost like uh, 9-11 again. I, yes, I thought that. It looked very, very similar in some parts. Where Bruce Wayne's running towards that big dust cloud. I was like, yeah. I've seen that on the news for like 15 years ago. Um, I did like that, and I didn't at the same time. It was a little bit. Uh, yeah, we know what's happened, but I know but you're trying to shoehorn Bruce Wayne into the very beginning of it, and that's fair enough. Yeah, you just want to show his beginning, the beginning yeah. of his hatred towards Superman. Um, what Ben Affleck? What do you reckon? Do you know? I have to say, I thought he was actually really good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and I know there Shock? are people. Pe- yeah, a little bit. I I thought he was. I thought it was going to be shite, to be brutally I, honest. I thought it was going to be good. And I thought so. I thought this is going to be a crap film from start to end. Wonder Woman is just going to be uh, in the background somewhere. Wonder Woman is one of my favourite characters, by the way. I have to say it all time. Um, and I really liked Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck done well. Um, I think um, the anger was a bit. He kills people as well. That's a bit, people don't like that, but he has killed people before in the comics. It's not like he's never killed anyone. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to a point in his life where he's just he feels like what he's doing isn't making any and difference. So he just has to move on and be It's a nice that he's a little bit older yeah. than we've had in films in the past. I know you've had like slightly older character actors play him, but he's like he feels 40s, older. 45, almost 46 or something almost like Dark Knight Returns type old. Yes. Not quite. I know it's a few years off that, but it's that kind of uh, fucker. Yeah, um, I like uh, the Alfred dynamic as well. I really liked him. I wasn't sure if he was going to be any good. I don't really like him as an actor, I, really. I, I'm not keen on Jeremy Irons. No. I don't. I, I, I liked, I I liked it. It wasn't too bad in this, I have to say, but I'm not keen on him. I think if it had been anyone else, it would have been better. Whoa. I like the banter between them. I like the little yes. bit of, like, um, we won't have any wine left in the cellar for the next generation of wines. Not that there'll be any more. <laughs> And yeah. like I like the way they did the proper Bruce Wayne, where they had him sleep around, drinking. Yeah, he had that proper thing, and then obviously yeah. when he put the mask on, he was fucking k- killing people. Yeah. Um, I like this little scene where he's trying to steal from Lex at the party, and uh, Mercy comes down to sees him. He's like, "One too many drinks," and as she walks away, he's like, "I like your shoes," like pretending to be drunk. <laughs> like he needs to, yeah, appear like a drunken billionaire douchebag. Yeah, and he does that really well. I'm not sure why. <laughs> uh, the only thing I really didn't like about the film was Lex Luthor. Oh God, here we go. Go on. Why not? Just, I'm not keen on the actor who played him. I think it was just completely ridiculous, completely over the top, went too far with the character, um, and it just ruined it. 
what sense? What do you mean it went too far? Too mental. Yeah. Too I liked, mental. I liked it because it was more extreme, and he nah, was fucking nuts. It was. Case. It got to the point where it was annoying. I liked it when he's doing the Riddler thing because he's he, he thinks in his mind that's how he should behave in front of other people, and then even that slips when he's at the party. He's trying to do the speech, and he just completely falls apart because he's just fucking mad. But his dad fucked him up so much that he's insane. But he's he, he doesn't play it very well. For me, I think it's t- um, his plan doesn't make any fucking sense. Let's put it that way. And and my 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 better half said exactly the same thing as we talked about it on the way home. It's just too much because Lex Luthor is supposed to be full of rage and anger about Superman and all this sort of stuff but controls it fairly well most of the time in all the stuff I've ever seen controls it well, holds it in occasionally it slips out when he's you know and it's a little bit uncharacteristic but isn't mental shouldn't be locked away in a bloody lunatic asylum with a a straight jacket on like this, I can't even remember the name of the character uh, the actor playing him Jesse Eisenberg, he was only playing in prison yeah, yeah, whatever. But he's still, he's just mental. And it's too, it was what too much. The only thing I, oh well, yeah, I suppose it, yeah, I get, I get your point. I didn't, it didn't distract me. But story wise, he knows everything. He knows who Superman is from the beginning. Before yeah. the movie starts, he knows who he is. He knows who Bruce, Bruce Wayne is Batman. So that bit in the party when he goes, do not pick a fight with this man. Like, yeah. He knows yeah. who they are. And obviously everyone else doesn't know. Yeah, but I, but they figure like out pretty fucking quickly. Because at the end, they they know that they're Bruce and Clark. So how do they figure it out that quickly? Well, he can see through his cowl. Yeah, true. To be fair, so Bruce Bruce being the detective, a shit detective in this because <laughs> the the white <laughs> Russian or whatever it is, what's it? The white Portuguese, oh. the boat. Yeah, it took him fucking years to figure out it was a boat. Not a very good detective, but he did figure out that Clark was Superman. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. And he he didn't figure out that. Well, it took him ages to work out that what's her face was Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, Although their interactions I'm were quite nice. I like them. I'm not sure what they're doing with her origin in this because obviously she's supposed to be from the island of Themyscira, which is an island of Amazonian women in paradise, and allegedly she's now French, which I haven't got a problem with. The French that is. Um, so I'm not sure where they're going to take that. We'll have to wait and see until I the film comes. Yeah, out. I kind of like the World War One setting for them. Um, I fucking loved her, by the way. I didn't realize she was good. I have. To I say. didn't think she'd be very good because. The size, she's very small, but yeah, but that works. You don't need to be big, just because Batfleck and Henry Cavill need to get fucking jacked yeah. doesn't mean yeah. she does. But they, the the, the Amazonians get their power from the gods, yeah. so they don't need to be. And don't get me wrong, she she will never be Linda Carter. I'm sorry, hello Linda Carter. I love you. I've loved you since I was about seven. And you're on the telly. But she was really good. She was really good. She I was really liked her. Fantastic. She was good as Diana Prince, but she was also good <laughs> she when was. she dropped down, like the p- <laughs> when Tuesday is coming, and like Batfleck looks up and he's like, "Oh shit!" But then one of them comes down with a gauntlets. Oh, yeah, the yeah. bracelets. <sighs> the look on her face as well when Doomsday smashes her, like hits her, and she goes back into a rock. She kind of gets up, smiles, and goes back into the fight. That's one of the best moments in the whole movie. Yeah. Just to see Wonder Woman like, fuck you, I don't know. <laughs> she is she is absolutely brilliant. I have to I've never heard of her before. Is it Gal Gal Gadot. Gal she Gal was Gadot. in a few Fast and Furious movies. Yeah. But she's, she's very good. She was good in those, but being in a Fast and Furious movie and being Wonder Woman are two different things. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I liked uh was wicked. Apparently he's quit superhero movies, but I love his soundtracks. I think they're amazing. Yeah. And the music for Wonder Woman was just it didn't fit the movie at all because it was hers. It was yeah. all her. Like, as soon as she came on screen and the music came, we were like, fuck me, it's Wonder Woman. <laughs> and when you see the picture of them, which had Captain Kirk in, by the way, did you notice? Did it? Yeah. On the left, because he's a uh, love interest. Steve, someone, or something. Oh, Steve uh, Steve Trevor. Yeah. Is he? Oh, is he going to... Oh, yeah. is it? So is the... Uh, like, so is the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman film going to be going back to 1918 then? The yeah. First World War. Ah, oh, right, cool. And then after that, she's apparently she's seen so much shit from men that she decides to not help human beings again for a hundred years. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of what happens in in most of the versions. Hitler. Yeah, I think they're probably going to change it slightly. Maybe she goes back to Thomas. Because Steve Trevor's a second in the Second World War. 
and that's because obviously Wonder Woman came out around about the time of the, the Second World War. Oh, right, so they're just changing it slightly. Yeah. That's right, Maybe so. she just goes back to Themyscira because she's like, fuck this. Yeah. I don't know. Um, oh, I liked a little thing when um, Superman says he's not from this world, he's from my world, and she goes, I've killed things from another world before. That was a fucking nice line as well. It's like, he's, she's amazing. I yeah. love her. I think she's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Really, really. And, I, and I'd, I'd say it again, I really enjoyed the film. Wasn't planning on it. I was planning on sitting there going, this is shit. Fucking hate it. Because I did sit at like 11 o'clock at night, so I was planning on going to sleep. I watched it at midnight. Yeah. I was fucking knackered before it started, and then when it started, I was like, oh, this is, I really like this. It's good. Um, but I, I did really enjoy it. I really One really thing I did notice, it was just fucking loud. I went to yeah. um, the Bristol one, Cinema Deluxe. Big, big screen. Very, very loud. Yeah. It really added to it. That's probably what kept me awake. Well, I, I watched it at the Odeon in Bristol because we have to go there, don't we, Mark? He's not here. He'll probably be listening to this later and I'll get told off for this. Uh, but yeah, we have to go to the Odeon because that's where he always has to go and watch films. Oh, I not was a bit like that with you, but I kind of like cinema. Not, like not allowed to go to proper cinemas. No, not allowed. I like the cinema to last because it's nice. It is nice. It's very nice. And they do, they do Tango Ice Blast. Okay. Random. I know. I like the Batmobile chase as well. That was quite cool. Yeah. Although, why did you put a tracker on it, then chase it, and then smash the fucking thing to pieces? Because then it when looks he saw good. Superman as well, instead of like swerving him, he crashes into him, and, it's, and then the, the whole fucking thing breaks. Because it looks good on film, Lewis. That's why. It's, it's not just about you and your fanboyness, is it? Ah, uh, Martha. How did you feel about Martha? The reason they stopped fighting. Oh, do you know? I'd never ever clicked that before in my entire life. You've never noticed that they've got the same. No, I. N- it wasn't. I'd never noticed that in a, in all the years I've been alive, which were a few. I think people are misunderstanding it because they think that Martha is the reason they stop fighting because they've got the same, the, the mothers have the same name. But that's not the whole story, is it? Like, the re- Bruce is going on a journey through this film, and everything up to yeah. that point has made him go, "What the fuck am I doing?" Yeah. Martha is the thing that made him snap out of it because he thought of his own mother. Yeah. And it snapped out of the rage, and then when Lois comes in and says, "It's his mum." Yeah. 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 Um, he's obviously in that moment he's gone shit Lex has set us up in that moment yeah. he's, it yeah. happens very quickly obviously film because it's a film yeah so he has to and then they make best friends super friends but I I, I'd never click that like it, the point is. the beginning like everyone's like why are they doing the origin of Batman again for fuck's sake it's so that they can say Martha because you've never seen him his dad go Martha as he's dying no. and then later on he's Superman's dying yeah. and he goes Martha like, why did you say that name? Yeah. So, oh. it's just that Martha's the thing that snaps him out the rage. And then he can actually think, fuck, we're being set up. Yeah. And then he goes to save Superman's Martha. That fucking fight scene was awesome. It was very much like an Arkham game where Batman can actually fight people. Because yeah. he doesn't fight in any other film. I'm not sure if you've noticed. He doesn't fight much. No. So, I really like that. And when he gets Martha, he goes, I'm, w- I'm w- one of your son's friends. And he goes, she goes, yeah, I guessed. The Kent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like the Kents, and I, very, I really like her. I think she plays it really well. Yeah. But Ooh. Oh, sorry. Lex should have known, don't fuck with Superman's mother. Yeah. Remember in the first one when he's like, basically grabs him and it's like, don't fucking hurt my mum. <laughs> Go Just a slight sidetrack, talking of parents of super-powered individuals. Um, I love Helen Slater. I love Helen Slater in the very... Lo- go back to Supergirl just for a second. And the fact Dean Cain might still be alive. Ooh, spoiler. I know. I thought I fucking knew he was Sorry. Alive. There's no way that you hire Dean Cain... No. ...and have him dead. I love that. Yeah. And the flashback where you're a teacher... Yeah. You need to not use your powers. Here's your glasses so you don't see through things all the yeah. time. Brilliant. That's nice. Absolutely brilliant. Actual practical reason for wearing the glasses. Yeah. Sorry, got slightly sidetracked there just because Helen Slater popped up in my head. And I think she's lovely. I think um, Ma- the Martian Manhunter thing as well is brilliant. I, can, I love Martian Manhunter. I think he's a great character. Yeah. And the fact he's in Supergirl just makes it even better. Cadmus. Ooh. Yeah, Cadmus is going to be around Ooh. in season two if they get picked up. They haven't been picked up yet. Has he not? Ooh. Well, better. Yeah, I'm a bit worried. But I'm hoping if CBS says no, CW goes, you know what, we'll take it now. Yeah, we'll have it back now. Thanks very much. Cheers. Because then they can kind of do crossovers whenever they want. Because yeah. apparently, this isn't the first crossover. 
like, um, this is the first one, dickhead. This is not the only. Yeah. So it would be so much easier if it's on CW. Yeah, definitely. Just anyway. Sorry, I got slightly sidetracked there. Sorry. sorry there. Batman Superman, yeah. Dawn of Justice. Dawn of yeah. Justice. Yeah. Uh, super Friends. Yeah. Oh. We are Super Friends. Oh, God. I, I, d- I did like the end. They had a bit of banter at the end. I kind of want to see that in Justice League. I want there to be lightness. And apparently Justice League will be lighter. Well, it's got to be because the Flash is in it. The Flash is always yeah. a funny character. But now Superman is Superman. He'll be yeah. lighter. Yeah. Uh, Batman's found his goodness again, his heart, because of Superman. Wonder Woman is f- amazing. So I don't know how they're going to bring Superman back, though. I suppose he's just going to turn out when the Justice League's been formed and go, I'll join. Hello, I'm Superman. Can, you, can I join can you the remember Super me? Friends, please? Do you Hello. remember the S? Hello, it stands for hope and all this stuff. Can we be in the Super Friends? Oh, uh, sorry, I'm going back to Supergirl again because there's things popping in my head. Uh, I love... Um, Cat Grant. Yeah. Melissa Flockhart is just bloody... Well, so I does she know? Do you reckon she knows? I think she does. There's that moment where they hug in the last episode. Yeah. And she she hugs her. They hug each other. And she just has that look on her face of, I know who you are. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. So she I think knows. she's kind of known for a long time. I think the Martian Manhunter thing threw her a little bit. But yeah. she's not stupid. She yeah. knows. Oh, and the very convenient... Oh, look, kal taken... Oh, that was that fucking bit. really annoyed me because... It annoys I really me wanted they him haven't to turn up. I, I'm really annoyed they haven't just bitten the bullet and had him turn yeah. up because he's Superman. Yeah. yeah. Flying, and then he goes, he goes to the, <laughs> he, she goes to the fortress and she's like, well, where's Kalau? I can't find him anywhere on Earth. And Kelex yeah. just goes, oh, he's doing something off-world. That's fucking convenient. Which is exactly what happens in Supergirl the film. Yes, he's yeah. off-world. You hear it on the radio and Superman is off to the fifth galaxy to sort something out. Uh, that's convenient, isn't it? And then she, he gets a text. It's Clark. Oh, I'm on my way. Yeah. And she's like, yes. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait. Uh, Splat. And the, ex- the explanation was so pants. Oh, uh, nature versus nurture. He's been here so long that he's... Yeah, but Martian Manhunter has been here for longer than everyone. And he seems to think he's not going to get affected. And he doesn't get affected. He does oh. get killed. Or does he? Which I'm very annoyed about. I hope he's fucking alive. Or does he? He was faking it. Oh, uh, yeah. No idea. And I was a bit annoyed when it got to the end of it. And it was like, oh, it's on next week and it's a two-parter, bugger. Yeah, because it's there. Was it her sister's all yeah. kryptonian up. With kryptonite. Well, she's like, I'm not going to fight her. And then she doesn't. Yeah. Just fly away. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the whole Superman. There's no slave thing. It's like, just fucking cast somebody and bring him into the fucking show. <laughs> doesn't matter. Even if he's in one or two episodes, it doesn't yeah. take away from who she is. She's built this show on her, like, on yeah. her back. Yeah, yeah. We all love her. We don't. Superman has to be around. Ugh. Eventually, they'll. Hopefully, they'll cast him. Probably. Tom Wells will be lucky. Yes, Tom Wellen, yes, please. <laughs> yes. So, we're fans of Batman vs. Superman. Yes, I did enjoy it. I will, I will watch it again, definitely. I think the extended version might be a little bit better because it might be a bit more room to breathe. Yeah. Although it is three hours long. Oh my God. It's a lot. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to the future. Suicide yeah. Squad. Oh, I did see the trailer for that when I went to see uh, Batman vs. Superman and... I, I, it does look really good, I have to say. I, I like mean, the Queen Bohemian Rhapsody on it. I think that's a good idea. I just I just hope he's a good Joker, that's all. The yeah. rest of them I don't really give a toss about because... Yeah. But I, I love the Joker. Uh, I love Harley Quinn as well. Uh, but it looks like she's got it right, so... Yeah. Batman's in it as well because he's chasing down Joker. World, bu- world building and all that bollocks. Yeah. And then Wonder Woman. Can't wait for Justice League Part 1. Yeah. So it's all coming together. Yeah, hopefully it'll be quite good. Finally, yay! So um, that the next years. film that we should be watching, Civil War. Yeah, when's that out? The end of this month. Is it end of this month? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Apparently, the end. Oh, everyone's. I assume cry, there's going to be multiple deaths, and it's because uh, they say it's going to change the Marvel universe forever. Yeah. In the comic, they kill Captain America, and I fucking hope to God they don't kill him in this because I love Chris Evans, and I think. If I had to pick between Iron Man and Captain America, I would pick Captain America. Because Iron Man, I think, has run his course. What does he do? Every movie, he just quips. He texts the hell out of something. And it's just <laughs> annoying. The only thing I... is One good thing about this could be that Chris, uh, um, Captain America leads up the secret Avengers and Tony leads up the proper Avengers. So there's actually two teams. Yeah. So when they get to Infinity War, they have to come back together. Oh, sorry, I killed one of your friends, but we need to be friends now. 
<laughs> like Super friends. It's like being in a playground. Hello, I killed your friend, and you can't have any tea, but do you want to come around for lunch or something? It does look very good. I can't wait for yeah, it. Yeah, I have seen bits and pieces that I can. I, I have no memory of anything because I'm old and decrepit, but um, it does look like Avengers yeah. 2.5, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently, Infinity War's got three times the amount of characters that Civil War have got or something ridiculous. Christ. So it'll literally have everyone. I think it's even going to get Star-Lord from Guardians as well. I prefer the rumour about that. Let's chuck everything at the film. Yay! Hopefully it'll make billions well, it of dollars for Disney. Well, apparently it's going to cost a billion to make the fucking thing. Really? And like a third of that just goes on the actors, which Robert Downey Jr. is going to take most of. Yeah, true, I suppose. That's another reason to get rid of him. Come on. Yeah. The pay is yeah. unbelievable. I know. Everyone All he else does is, is on nowhere near as him. All he Imagine does is it. turn up and be himself. <laughs> I know. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> Hello, I'm Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sh- 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 yeah. Whatever. They've released a clip online of um, Ant-Man <laughs> meeting Captain America. And he just comes in. He's like, oh, my God, you're Captain America. Oh, my God. I love you so much. Oh, I'm shaking too long. <laughs> he's just shaking his hand. You right, let go. <laughs> I love is it because you need a bit of fucking lightness in this film because it's going to be so. The, the one thing, the one thing I love about the whole Marvel thing, including Shield and Carter and all this sort of stuff, and that the way they've done it, it it's all linked together. Kind is of. It, it is. There are moments of light and fluffy, yeah. which you do need sometimes because some of these things can be really depressing. You know, thousands of people die when Slovenia, or whatever it was, got taken up in. What was it? Segovia. That was it. Segovia. Yeah. Got you know taken up to the air and well technically no one died but you know what I mean it could have done thousands of people blah, blah, blah. and it's really miserable but you get these moments of lightness there was in Shield the other day there's there's just a line and <laughs> it made me chuckle uh, where Phil Coulson says um, oh is it the Terminator comment uh, I really like that when he's talking to one of the secret warriors uh, one of the Inhumans the one with the electricity Lincoln oh, it? Lincoln and he goes oh it's like the Terminator the um the Terminator because they're talking about like pre pre like parad- time paradoxes. Yeah. Because it's like the Terminator and he goes, I've never seen the original Terminator and he just goes, You're off the team. <laughs> <laughs> um no, what's he say? He Phil says Coulson's it's brilliant. He says it's a Fitz, I think. Or Simmons, whichever one's which. Um and he goes, I knew it'd be haunted by the ghost of my past, but I didn't think I'd be actually haunted by yeah, the ghost yeah. of my past. Something like that. And I thought it's a really clever line, it yeah, made me yeah. chuckle a bit because it was quite true. I do like Carlson. The only thing I don't like about the Marvel Universe is that they claim it's all connected, but it's not. It only goes one way. Like, S.H.I.E.L.D. will interact with Civil War, but Civil War will not yeah. mention S.H.I.E.L.D. If you're going to do it, do it properly. Like, the Avengers don't even know if Phil Carlson's alive. Yeah, but they can't, been, like, can they? three or four bloody years. They can't know he's alive. Otherwise, the whole thing will fall apart. Maybe that's what's going to happen. The whole thing will fall apart. There we go, because they'll find out Carlson's alive. Well, no, because it's already going to fall apart. And in Civil War, like the original, uh, there's only two original Avengers that are on Earth, Thor and Hulk, I suppose. Which are going to have a little road movie, apparently, in the Thor movie. It's like a buddy cop thing oh, <laughs> across really. the galaxy with Hulk and Thor. You know. <laughs> Yay. I, oh, I like them. They're funny. Like I, they the do Avengers work. joke I where he punches him. Right? Yeah. Come on. I, I, yeah, I, I do like Thor and I do like Hulk. Uh, Hulk's always one of my, been one of my favourite characters anyway. Yeah, I, I, f- I really like the Hulk. Mark Ruffalo is perfect. He, d- yeah, he is very good. He's very, very clever. Plays it very intelligently. I didn't like the Age of Ultron storyline where he's like, oh, I'm weepy. Oh, I'm going to fly away. Fuck that. Stop being sad. Be happy. Yeah, but then You're the fucking Hulk. Then he goes to Planet Hulk and it's a whole new different thing. Well, Yay. apparently he's not in Planet Hulk. He's now in Asgard. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Well, I don't know where he is. He's got to be in the space somewhere. For he does end up him. in Asgard at one point, doesn't he? In one of the movies, one of the animated movies. Does he now? Yeah, he gets mind controlled by someone. Is it Loki? I can't remember. And uh, he smashes the shit out of Asgard, I believe. Ooh. Yeah. Well, apparently Loki is saying that he, the guy who plays him, that Thor Ragnarok is going to be his last appearance as Loki. <gasps> oh dear. That's right. Then he can go on and be James Bond. So it's fine. He is fucking pushing for that, I tell you. <laughs> well, I think he'd be alright. He's good. I think he'd be quite manager. good as Bond, actually. He's good in the Tom Riddle. Tom Riddle. What's his name? Tom Hiddleston. Hiddleston. It's not I Tom Riddle. That's fucking I Harry Potter. Isn't yeah, it? sorry. <laughs> I, I'm mixing my streams there. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to all. I'm looking to 
all nerdy stuff that's coming up, basically. There is a lot of nerdy Star Trek's out. Star Trek, at yeah. some point Independence Day. Can't wait for that. Do you know, I saw the trailer for that, and I have to say, I'm not a fan of the original film, because it's oh, a bit I cheesy. I love the original film. You need a bit of cheese in your life. Yeah, but not that much cheese. That's Jeff a bit like heart attack cheese on a plate, isn't he it? He doesn't like Jeff Goldblum being Jeff Goldblum. Uh, me. That is definitely bigger than the last one. I mean, that's but it does look epic, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I can't can't wait for that. Um, I think that's till June. I think it's June, like the end of June, or maybe in, the fourth of July. No, it's the end of June. I think a week before July fourth. Oh, was it? Yeah, just I suppose. So it's got enough time. Well, it'll get, get hyped for the Fourth of July weekend yeah, yeah. in America. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, it's so much stuff coming up this year. It's like it's like being a nerd has finally paid off. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright for you. You're only really young. What does that mean? Well, you know, I've had to wait longer. Yeah, it should feel better <laughs> for you. <laughs> Thanks very much, cheeky bastard. Yeah, I can't. I'm loving it. Star Wars every year. Fiftieth anniversary of Star Trek as well. Yes, it is the 50th, yes, 1966, with the uh, the original pilot, which was interesting. Cage. With uh, Jeffrey Hunter as Captain Kirk. Uh, Captain, sorry, he wasn't Captain Kirk, was it? Pike. Captain Pike, sorry. I watched, uh, I'm reading Shatner's book about Leonard, actually. Yeah. Leonard, never mind. I'm only three chapters in, because I've just died. This is quite, it's quite nice. They're talking about how their child, he's talking about how their childhoods are similar, and how yeah. they, why they got into acting was similar, and they haven't quite got to where they've met yet. He's, although he has met James Duhan. Has he? Because they're both thing. Canadian, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, Shatner's Canadian, James Duhan was Canadian. So they've met, but he's... It's, it's, it's very nice. He's he's trying to... tribute his friend, I suppose. 50 years is a long time to be friends with someone. Yeah, that's true. He makes it... Obvi- like, paints it, like he says in the beginning, like, when you're an actor, you get with these wonderful groups of people and you love each other while you're working together and you promise you'll be best friends forever, but you never are. Yeah. If you see yeah. each other, you always say hello. And that's it. But yeah. with Leonard, he said it was different. Like we were always friends and we yeah. had our ups and downs, but we were always in touch and we always yeah. had love for each other. And they had, they had good on-screen, on-screen and off-screen chemistry together. Oh, on-screen nice. chemistry was incredible. Yeah, they Spot did work Kirk so and well Bones together. together. Those yeah. three. It's like they were... They were made to be in Star Trek. But that's probably because he didn't steal the lines of those two like he did with everyone else. Yeah. Oh, Bill. And also, it, they were together for a long time. Six films and... Is it, it was six films, wasn't it? Six, uh, yeah, six films. Three series. Three seasons of the show. Um, so it was like... 30, 25 years? Like that. Star Trek 66 six came out on the 30th anniversary. So, yes. 30, 30 years. Yeah, I so really love Star Trek Six. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, nineteen ninety six because I got it on VHS. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day. I'm I'm looking forward to the the TV series. It's a shame it's not coming out this year or on the actual fiftieth, but I January. Thought was, I right. thought the pilot was out this year and then it was out properly. I thought next it was year. out in January, but hopefully they'll do a good job with it. It's got some good people on the writing staff. Nicholas Mayer's in it. Well, he's about eighty now, isn't he? Surely. Yeah, but he he made. Two of the best. He, he, he made, made two Trek. best. He made Star Trek as we know it now, what it is. Yeah. So Star Trek Two rewrote everything and gave you the next generation, really. I suppose yeah. and gave us Voyager and DS Nine and all. Uh, not quite Enterprise because that's a little bit pants. Um, and to some extent, the new the new rebooted movies because you know they had to come from somewhere, and and it's his vision and it, the way he did it. I think influenced everything from 1982 onwards. Really, he ha- just happened to make the best films. Yeah, Wrath of Khan is superb. It's just amazing, and I like Undiscovered Country. I think it's really good. Yeah, because it's it's a who done it. That's how they describe it on the video. Because I got I got it on VHS. Um, yeah, it's like who done it in space, and it's it's quite nice. And they've got the talk about William Shakespeare. Should hear it in the he original Klingon. He d- yeah, he does bring a lot of. Um, but that's what Star Trek is. So of reference know. into it, like Shakespeare and uh, Milton, I think as well, and other bits and pieces. And it says he's going to be executive executive producer, and he'll be on the writing staff. So hopefully, it will turn out well. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I think it, I think it'll be fine. Just depends which universe he's set in. Yeah, we still don't even know what it's about. No. 
Could be Next Generation. We never know. I doubt it. No. Can't reboot Picard. We can re- you can reboot Kirk and Spock. Come on. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Oh, Patrick Stewart would not be impressed. No, no, can't. Have, it, won't, it won't be a baldy slaphead, will it? So, uh, <laughs> talk, talking of the past, can I just please mention quickly something? Uh, this is something that uh, uh, Lewis knows nothing about at all because he is a child. Um, a very, a very fantastic actor has passed away just yesterday. Um, or this week, I should say, uh, Gareth Thomas, who played Roger Blake in Blake Seven, um, a very big part of my childhood for several years, um, and uh, uh, hopefully this means it might actually come back on the telly because they usually do that kind of thing. Um, it is something I recommend you watch. Look, I'm looking at you now, Lewis. You must watch it. It does go a little bit lost in space in series three and four, and it gets like weird aliens and stuff. Um, but the first couple of series are some of the finest science fiction drama you will ever see. Um, the characters are amazing. Care Raven, who is just so cold and calculated and brilliantly played by Paul Darrow. Uh, you've got Villa, played by uh, Michael Keating, who is just such a coward. Uh, you've got Sally Nivet, who plays Jenna, um, the best pilot ever. And obviously you've got uh, Callie, whose n- real name escapes me, uh, and the original seven that kind of come together through the first series uh, with Aurak and Zen as part of the gang as well. Zen is one of my favourite computers ever. Um, it is a classic piece of British sci-fi written by the amazing Terry Nation, who is no, no longer with us as well, who did write for Doctor Who and invented the Daleks. So without him, there'd be no Daleks. Um, it is a really, really good piece of TV to watch. If you can just look past the dodgy sets, the slightly awful acting and some of the terrible makeup, um, and look at the actual stories, there are some really, really powerful stories about dictatorships and how people are oppressed and how people fight against oppression. Um, and obviously Jacqueline Pierce of Serverland, who is possibly one of the sexiest women ever invented. Um, yeah. So uh, it's a it's a sad passing, but seriously, watch Blake Seven. It's phenomenal. Blast from the past. Blast from the past. Older but golden. <laughs> it's a semi regular series. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, our next one will probably be about Civil War, right? Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully now now we might be able to do this a bit more regularly because I only live like five minutes from Lewis now, which is brilliant. We should try and do one for everything, every movie. Yeah. So it'd be like one a month, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so Polly, uh, it's just been a circumstance that we've done five since last August. And by the time... No, I was going to say, we, the finales will all in May. Well, the Supergirl finale is this week. Is it? Yeah, it will be, won't it? Oh, was it the last one this week? Oh. oh I think so. It's only 20 episodes. Oh. So... Oh, so we could crap. do all the finales and Civil War and yeah, the next one. Cool. So goodbye, Spock. Good goodbye, Spock. <laughs> wherever you are. Yes, wherever you are. Whichever universe you're living in today. <laughs> and uh, thank you to our one listener, whoever you are. And uh, we'll live, see you next time. Live well, long and prosper. You'll hear us that. next time. Yay! <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs>